Hey everyone, and welcome to my Janimation Flash Tools Overview video, where I'll be demonstrating many of the tools available in the simple to install Flash add-on that will significantly speed up your Flash animation workflow and allow you to focus on more important things like making your animations look good. The first thing is installation. What you're going to need is a copy of Flash, obviously, Adobe Extension Manager, which is free to download from the Adobe website, you might already have it installed, and a copy of Flash Tools, which you can find a link to in the description of this video. Once you're all set up, what you need to do is go into Flash, go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and make sure your current set is set to Janimation Hotkeys. Once you've done that, click OK, and then you can hit the Star key, not the Shift 8 kind, but the one on top of the Num keys to bring up the panel. You'll also notice in the legend in the bottom left area that a bunch of other hotkeys. If you press the forward slash, it'll bring up the keyboard hotkeys, which are the same as the numkey hotkeys, only on the keyboard side of things, for preference. Also, if you hit Ctrl H, it'll bring up the setup instructions for the rig tool, which I'll show you at the end of this video. I've quickly set up a keyframe animation of the Reddit alien picking his nose and then contemplating on what he's just done. In the first part of this animation, the character shifts slightly to see if anyone is watching. I use my batch select tool to grow my selection vertically across all the layers. I have then strategically chosen to use my custom ease out for this tween. Janimation custom tweens improve on the standard flash screens by giving them a deeper arc. The next part of this animation of a few symbols flipping and changing which can be proved difficult to solve. For this situation I'm going to use my quick tween tool which does its best to figure out how to solve for changes in symbols. After it's used you could always fine tune any changes it didn't pick up. The next part of the animation also has a few simple changes, but also has his hand moving from the back of his body to in front of his head. I've also unnecessarily shifted two more symbols to push this point. Once again I'm going to use my quick tween tool to help me out with this tween. As you can see the quick tween tool saw for both changes in symbols and changes in layering. Now the character is digging for gold deep inside his nose. I use the ease both tween by hitting the A key to apply both an ease in and ease out for every key selected. The next part of this animation I use an ease out key to quickly set the tween. I quickly fix the nose problem by placing a normal blank frame after the first key. After that I place a smart key in the area where I wanted the head symbol to switch. The smart key tool keeps and maintains the ease of the animation unlike the built in flash keyframing. A quick look into the head symbol and you can see that I've separated the head drawings inside the symbol into separate frames. Now using the bump keys, I can quickly switch between each of those drawings until I find the one I want. To change my hand symbol, I'm going to do the same thing but with a different approach. First I select the frame I want the hand symbol to change at, then I click the key as next button which will change the symbol to match the next keyframe in that layer. This next part of the animation I'll be using the same technique. First I'll once again apply custom ease out to all the layers. Then I select the frame I want each symbol to change at and click the key as next button. And finally for the last two hours I'll be using the basic ease in and ease out for my Janimation tools. And now if you play the animation, you can see that we've successfully animated the character in a fraction of the time. With more time and care, we can achieve even nicer results. I want to finish up with a few more tools and features that I missed. Before using the quick rig tool, you will need to follow a few steps that can be seen by hitting Ctrl H keys. Follow the instructions in the panel that pops up to get the rig tool set up. Go to Edit, Customize Tools panel, click the Bone tool, scroll down to find the rig tool, click Add, then click OK. Now if you look inside the bone tool icon, you can find the rig tool available to use. With the body part of the character selected, you can quickly use the rig tool to turn the shape into a symbol with the proper rotation point and orientation. To use the tool, just specify the location of the rotation point, followed by the required angle for the shape selected. A prompt will follow for quick labeling. The Scrub Layers tool lets you easily move up and down layers in your scene. One more feature I'd like to talk about is the ability to specify which frames the Batch Selection tool can choose from by using the underscore key to specify the boundaries for the selection. This is handy when you have two characters interacting in one symbol. 
And that will bring us to the end of the Janimation Tools overview video. Please credit using Janimation Tools or Janimation Tools by Jay Edry for any projects, large or small, using these tools. And thank you for watching.